guys, it's me, Jenny. I play Lisa on The Electric Company, and we are behind the scenes, and I want to introduce you to some really important people on the show. We have Karen Fowler, who is the executive producer. I like to call Karen the big boss. She's sort of the... She's, she's in charge. The boss lady. <laughs> the boss lady. <laughs> and Scott Cameron, who is a producer and the director of education. Say hi, guys. Hi, Hello. guys. <laughs> so there's lots of stories in the electric company. In every episode, you know, we always have this kind of caper. We have, like, some kind of adventure. What, in particular, sort of storylines have you enjoyed, or what kind of characters do you enjoy? I really loved how your character developed. <laughs> she really became this really interesting, complicated, and strong girl character. Mm -hmm. You know, especially, like, the face-offs with Francine. Yes. You know, it was so nice to see a nice girl, a nice, mm -hmm. smart girl, mm -hmm. who could work Work well with others, but also wasn't a pushover. Right. I was really psyched about that. If you had a superpower, <laughs> what would it be? I want the general word ball power. Mm. Yeah. I want that. And then I'd want to be invisible. Mm. Totally. That's totally mine. Is that yours? Mm -hmm. What would you do if you were invisible though? Just go anywhere. Yeah. Just like cross, like you know, like get into like the room and like hear what's actually going on. Go right to the White House. <laughs> right, right. I would. It'd be awesome. Do you need advice for kids who are watching right now on 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 uh, how to sort of if they want to have a job as a producer or as um, a writer, how they can kind of have that happen or um, what they should be doing now? <laughs> well, I would say um, the most important thing to do that I didn't do enough of when I was a kid, and I wish I had, is to talk to the grown-ups in your life and ask them. Do you know anyone who does blank? So if you want to be a writer, talk to the grown-ups around you. Talk to your teachers and your mm -hmm. parents and their friends and maybe they'll know somebody and just put it out there and ask people to help you. The best thing I could say is believe in your dreams, keep going for it. If you fall down, just get back up again and keep going because there's always going to be people who say, I don't think that's possible. There was a lot of people who told me that, mm -hmm. and probably you yeah. that, you know? that. So I don't think that you can do that. And the deal is you can, you know, with heart and with good people around you and people that believe in you. So just stick with the people that love you and stick with your dreams. Thank you so much, Scott and Karen. I really appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you. You're pretty cool. Bye. Say bye. Bye. Thank you.